Memorial Day just ended, and with Memorial Day winding down, the water is quiet here at Crystal River. So the plantation now will start ramping up for scallop season, which is really just four short weeks away. But during this respite of four weeks, I can fit in a little bit of backyard fishing between my tarpon trips. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna give you a couple of good summertime tips to catch fish right here on the Nature Coast. So join me on this trip out of the plantation and let's run out here to some of the prettiest places on the Nature Coast and catch a few. All right, one of the, or in, in fact, the most important tip I can give you about summertime fishing is the fact that this at this point in the year when you're in June you've got to really be concerned about water temperature so fishing early is the most important I'm typically out today we're shooting YouTube so we had to wait till the Sun came up but I'm typically out at sunrise every day in the summertime and I want to maximize that cooler period in the tide where the water has had all night long to lose the radiation from the day before. So I'm going to have my coolest water temps and all the bait, like you can see all the bait in here, is all basically just kind of coagulated into wads that haven't spread out yet. So most of my targets are going to be in these bait pods. So water temperature, fishing very early. I would say that's tip number one for summertime fishing. One of the other uh, tips that I will give you for summertime fishing is the fact that you're going to have a lot more volume of water so the tides are much bigger. In fact, you're going to find yourself fishing closer and closer to cover. So when you look back into these mangrove islands, the water, it really gets back there a long way. So this is actually the time of year where I spend less time fishing the potholes and more time fishing the edges. Uh, when I reach June, July, August, and even early September, I'm beating the bushes, and so should you. All right, one of the bigger challenges this time of year is throwing hard baits that have treble hooks on it. The reason for that is the treble hooks will find the floating grass that's on the surface of the water and it'll just gag it up. So in many cases, I'm throwing weedless spoons, I'm throwing Texas rig soft baits, uh, I'll even throw an open jig if it's got a big enough gap hook. And those types of lures will shed grass. But if you want to throw a plug like a Miradeen 17 or a 27 or even the Catch 5 or something like that, you could always take off the trebles and put these single inline hooks on the actual bait. If you do that, then these two will shed some of that finer eel grass and some of the smaller pieces of turtle grass, and you can still work it in and around the mangrove shorelines, uh, or even in the open flat if there's just a lot of floating debris. But that's one I really like to employ, the single inline hooks. That would be tip number three for summertime fishing. I would say tip four that you're gonna want to keep in mind for summertime fishing is the fact that you have to cover a lot of water. It's a lot like dock fishing. So if you think you're going to get by on just fishing one island or one point or one small bay, you're probably wrong because like I said earlier, with the volume of water pushing them further into the trees, it's going to take quite the effort for you to cover enough zones to find a concentration of fish because somewhere there's going to be an oyster bar that you don't know about that's tucked up underneath those trees or a le little deeper groove or moat around one particular island. So you're going to have to move around a lot. Summertime means put the trolling motor down and cover water. Get behind my boat.
boat. Oh, big one too. Woo! Summertime fishing. That is a red there, buddy. I mean, and he smoked that Miradine. I mean, smoked it. He is green as they get right there. catch of that last fish let's talk about the last tip of the day I believe this is tip five and that is have an adequate equipment to be able to leverage fish out of these zones like you've seen me throw to the mangroves all day long and the rocky points to accomplish that if you happen to catch a big fish you're gonna need a medium heavy action rod this is a six foot ten Shimano Zodius rod I've also got it paired up with a Tranx 200 bait casting reel. Now this is a reel that I pack full of 30 pound Power Pro. Why so heavy? Well, I want a lot of control because I'm skipping these baits up into the trees lots of times. And with that, that thicker line diameter, it's a lot easier. I also have a few feet of 40 pound fluorocarbon leader at the business end of this bait. Um, of this whole setup and in this case we caught him on that last bait was happened to be one of the Miradines but I'm gonna tell you right now if you're willing to throw jerk shads paddle tails spoons even spoons and toss them where you can slide them up there or even Miradines or bigger Miradines that have the single inline hooks you're gonna have a lot of success Remember, you got to think about how much water you have this time of year, so you got to cover a ton of water. You got to fish faster on the trolling motor. You got to throw tight into the woods. You're going to have to do that. You're going to lose some tackle. It happens. And then you've got to have something that will leverage the fish back out of, of all those trashy zones that you've been throwing into. If tips like this one and others have helped you here at Flats Class YouTube, I encourage you to push that button right now, subscribe. Tell your friends, share this with everyone. And hopefully, I'll make you a better angler moving down the line here. All right, it's back to the plantation for us. Well, another successful day going out of the plantation right here in Crystal River, Florida. If you're ever looking for a fantastic place to stay, whether you're on your own or if you're bringing your family here, this is the one stop. Golf courses, swimming pools, tiki bars, restaurants, spas, dive shop, they've got it all. They even have the Freedom Boat Club here. So if you're looking for a holiday, this is the only place you need to know about in Crystal River.